Peggy 12. Driver San Francisco's multiplayer has something for everyone. Whether you're taking it to the streets with friends as a team or giving them a flash of your taillights as you drift across the finish line, multiplayer modes are fast and fun. Smashing and crashing optional, but highly encouraged. It's easy to jump in, get in the action, and stay in the action. As you rise through the ranks, you'll unlock new abilities, weapons, and cards. But the game-changing power of Shift? Whoo, that is the great equalizer. A wild card and your trump card. It lets you and your adversaries potentially be anywhere in the Golden Gate City at any time. You may wreck your ride, but it's never too late to take back the top spot. With Shift, daring strategies can pay off at the last critical second. Like the campaign, you'll be able to rapid shift between cars to quickly get you back in the action. There are also a few multiplayer specific shift tricks. Using swap will change your ride into any vehicle in your arsenal. The spawn ability lets you spawn any car from your garage smack in the middle of the road. Shift in and shuffle off. In addition to being a great defensive tool, Shift can also act as a serious weapon. The impulse attack will give other cars a kick that causes them to spin out of control. The more you've progressed through the online play, the more cars you'll have to choose from. Faster cars, tougher rides, hey, whatever is best suited for your current objective. There's a wealth of cooperative and competitive online modes for you to drive through. Trailblazer will see you fighting to keep directly behind the lead car as it twists and turns down streets and highways. Shift races allow you to utilize shift to grab new cars. Or you can go old school and take part in classic races that don't allow shift at all. And there are plenty of modes if you want to keep it local. Split Screen supports two players in eight different modes. One guaranteed crowd pleaser comes from competing or working together to defend your area of the map in blitz, smashing any and all who get too close. Whether you're playing competitively or cooperatively, short qualifying sessions precede each mode during matchmaking. These drifting, smashing, or jumping challenges can earn you additional perks to use in the upcoming match, like the ability to shift or boost right off the starting line. Or just straight up start your car at the front of the pack, and then it's off to the races or tag, <laughs> or capture the flag. With over a dozen multiplayer driving modes, there's always a new chaotic challenge to put you and yours back in the bucket seat. And the competition continues on the web. Head on over to the Driver Club, where you can check on your game progress, challenge scores, and unlock exclusive achievements and trophies. There's a whole host of info you can share with friends on Facebook or Twitter, or better yet, show them by posting your own film director clips. And for all you gearheads and big talkers, well, there's plenty of stats and leaderboards to chew on. It's a long road to level 40, but hey, every increase in rank revs you up just a little bit more. Driver San Francisco is easy to pick up, hard to put down fun that will see you boosting, breaking, and burning out by the bay as you showcase the skills of a master driver.